yeah, our other courses cruel embroidery is little bit a different course because uh, you can see the colors the color combinations how it has gone and the size of the flowers also so normally we used to know about Brazilian embroidery and normal hand embroidery and other stuff now here when you see this cushion cover or whatever we are showing you you can see the different techniques uh, stitches most of the stitches it looks very lovely and each other different techniques so you can see here uh, for one flower how many stitches we have used so many different stitches we have done with different shades also normally we take a different color shade especially for other embroideries uh, part of other embroidery we use uh, like antique colors we say so you have to select the what is suitable colors for cruel embroidery before you start doing cruel so here I can show you some cruel embroidery colors you can see how I have selected some colors so these are the colors we'll be using for cruel embroidery even this is pearl cotton even the pearl cotton but for some area not for the most of the areas we'll be using the skein thread is also a little bit big but then a tiny needle so it will be very neat and nice when you use a very thin needle but make sure not to use such a big needles so always try to get a, th a tiny needle with a thin also uh, about scissors here we are using scissors uh, this is an original embroidery scissor so for to cut in the fabric you will need a big scissor for the other purpose like cutting the thread and all keep a small embroidery scissor and also about the fabric here we are we will be using all linen so linen is the most suitable fabric for the when you are using fabric you have to select linen that is the suitable fabric for the embroidery so you can go for colors uh, i have here you all can see i have kept off white cream and a light purple so make sure with your colors to go for a good background and you can see the cushion cover uh, which i have used with a background of a cream color and here i have made with a uh, like a mustard yellow border so make sure always to make your color combination also most important even the fabric color combination so when i'm talking about the frames for like a small flower you can use a small hook but if you are going for a big work like this it suit a big frame at once to finish your work must not change all the times when you change the fabric with your hook you might get damage your flowers so as you wish but i prefer a big hoop for a big area and here i can uh, show you about the hoops i was telling you and i was talking about the thread and the needle uh, these are the lessons we'll be doing and nearly three uh, cushion covers or if you want to convert it for a, a frame or for any purpose i can uh, here you can see some of the work what we will be doing for cruel each and every one is a different technique and if you want we will be doing here three cushion covers if you want you can convert for your frames or whatever the things you like to keep it in your house or wherever you can change your ideas so here i have showed you already some designs and now and now you know the fabric thread needles and about the hoops and the fabric here i would like to show you a book of cruel embroidery how it is and normally what are the designs will be going so here actually i have uh, giving you all the designs but when i say the designs here will be the designs so we'll be sending you all the designs so i can transfer which 
I show with the dark set of colors you can see like further to embroidery. Hope you will enjoy the table embroidery and we'll meet you in our workshop of table embroidery. Thank you.